Hi, Micro Hunter here and my little worms that you see here, they are suffering from severe indigestion. I fed them potato starch grains and now they have a problem, well, hmm, pooping them out again. Well, do I really have to explain to you what I'm doing here? Well, obviously potatoes are filled with many microscopic starch grains and dipping a piece of, of this potato into the drop of water where you have the worms, this washes off a lot of these starch grains. Here they are. And when you change the light to polarizing, then they sh the starch grains start to shine like stars at, uh, at night, okay? So what you have to do is, is you're gonna use polarized light and then by turning the filter, they will start to light up. And look at this, this worm here has already eaten some of these starch grains and now it's dragging along, well, the poop of the starch grains, okay? So it eliminated the starch grains again at the back and you can see that there is a lot of slime there and that's why it's dragging it along. And this worm here as well, look at the very back, yeah, there are a lot of these starch grains. Uh, they start to light up and they start to accumulate at the very end because they have a, yeah, he has a, the worm has a problem pooping it out a little bit. These starch grains are pretty huge. Uh, I think they got stuck in the worm here. Um, they move very slowly, but uh, ultimately the worm will try to get rid of them and sometimes the worm will even move around and wiggle a lot to simply to push out the starch grains again. So it's a little bit, they're a little bit too big for the worm and uh, this causes a quite a bit of uh, indigestion. Look at this one here. This is a huge grain right in the center of the worm. And you can see that uh, also there are a whole bunch of other microorganisms um, floating around, also tiny cells um, right around the worm. Yeah, and uh, as the worm is, mo is moving along, um, it, the starch grain is slowly pushed uh, backward until it's able to leave uh, the body of the worm. Look at this, what in the world is this doing? This guy is really convulsing and is really twisting itself. I said, oh, wow, this worm is really ill. Um, it's really was behaving very strangely, I have to admit. And uh, then I realized why it did that. It suffered from severe indigestion and look what happens now. Oops, now it pooped it, okay? Out came a starch grain. This was the problem. Uh, it started to behave like this because it tried to push out yeah, the starch. Now it feels much better and now it's leaving again. Okay, wow. Uh, what a relief for the worm. Okay, well, here another one. Um, and uh, I'm turning the filter now. Can, can you see the, the whole intestine is packed full and uh, yeah, it's completely filled up. This guy really overate itself. Um, the starch grains, however, are much smaller um, here. So I guess the worm will not have any problems releasing them again. In any case, uh, it's kind of fascinating to see how the processes of life like feeding and uh, the production of waste and so on, how this can be observed under the microscope. Yeah? Um, and uh, here again, you can see that all of those starch grains start to build up in the lower part of the intestine. So the worm simply scrapes along the surface uh, and uh, basically what it does is it simply tries to collect uh, algae and bacteria that are growing on there. But evidently, um, yeah, it also takes up a lot of these starch grains here for food. But I think um, they have somewhat a difficult time of being digested. Now look at this, I know the picture is not very clear, but look, now it's pooping again. You can actually see how the starch grains are leaving uh, the worm right at the back. Um, and uh, it's uh, possible to see that bit by bit the worm pushes out these starch grains again. I don't know, maybe uh, some of them are a little bit digested, uh, but uh, those starch grains are pretty hard. Um, they're uh, crystallized almost, uh, crystallized starch. That's why they are polarizing so much. And here as it poops it out, it's dragging along the contents of its intestine here again. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, interesting to see all of the processes of life taking place right under the microscope. I mean, I, I might actually try different uh, types of food as well and to see um, how uh, the worms take them up, maybe yeast and so on. But one of the advantages uh, with starches is that the contrast is really nice because uh, they are polarizing, they're really quite well visible. And that is uh, a characteristic that you do not find uh, with uh, so many other things that you can feed to the worm. And uh, as a matter of fact, if you look carefully, some of the other microorganisms floating around, they also uh, have small starch grains in them. So they also have uh, taken some of them up. Yeah, so that is basically, that's it, people. Worms pooping. Wow, what a video.
Well, that's it again. And uh, here in this jar, I have still a few thousand little worms left. Um, and uh, this means there are still plenty of opportunities for more experiments and more observations. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. If you like the video, then uh, click the subscribe button so that you can always keep yourself updated. And also the bell button. This also gives you an automatic notice. And I uh, wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.